and David Rose. This is the intersection that is shut down. Um, you can see that both ways here are completely shut down. And just so you know, if you see a road sign that says road closure, flooded, please abide by those signs. We have a lot of people who are just driving through and actually getting stuck in the mud and causing multiple car accidents, which is actually what happened here right on David Road. Up ahead, we have um, quite a scene here. There was one car pulled over. Looks like uh, I spoke with CHP officer Robert Rodriguez. Looks like a couple cars actually did just that. They went through some of these signs, got stuck up there and caused a multi-car accident. So they're trying to get that all cleared up. We do have reports of just minor injuries. Uh, that person was transported to the hospital. Everyone else seems to be okay, but we're unclear as to how long this closure will stay and what this will do as far as um, affecting the roadway here. Now, just so you know, myself and um, our cameraman LJ decided to try to come through here and we almost got stuck. So we decided to turn back around. That's how kind of slick the roads are. You can see that there's just debris all over the place just like this. We have multiple areas that once you step down, you kind of get stuck in the area as well. You can see here the subject to flooding sign. Now normally I'm about five feet tall, so this sign definitely would not be my height. So you can see that it's just covered around with some of the debris and some of the waste here. Um, also on the side embankment here, you can see how high the water was. You see that dark spot right at the bottom. That's um, how high it was earlier. We did have a Reports. There's about two feet deep here. You can see how quickly that water is moving in the area as well. So just avoid this area. This is normally your commute here. I did actually speak to uh, a mother that her son was involved in the accident up ahead. She said that he was perfectly fine. She did try to come through this area. They, of course, told her to kind of stay back. She's just waiting to hear from him. She said he called her, uh, called her around 4 o'clock this morning, gave her some information. She's just kind of waiting to see what the status is there. But again, this will be shut down. We are going to try to get a little bit closer so we see what exactly is going on, how many cars are involved. But again, right now, we're just anticipating it's going to be closed off for a while. And again, if you see these roadway signs that say flooded or closed off, just abide by them, turn around and follow the detour signs. We'll have more in a little bit right now. Rob Kindle, back to you. All right. Thank you so much. It's unbelievable. You see those subject to flooding signs all over the county. You never really think twice about them until we have a situation like we had this weekend. Right. And uh, boy, they really are exactly right. We'll check. This weekend storms caused major problems on Kern County roadways this morning. That's right. I would just news reporter Kalina Estrinos is live in Mettler right now with a look at some of the flooding and, and, and really its effects mm -hmm. all the way on Monday morning now. Kalina, what's going on? Well, good morning, Rob. So we are still out here, Wheeler Ridge Road and David Road. This intersection is shut down. Uh, looks like you're turning everyone around kind of on Wheeler Road. You definitely cannot continue down on David Road. Now, I just want to let you know how quickly the water is moving here. Now, this is where we are. I'm standing right in the middle, and it actually is pushing me quite a lot. I kind of lost my balance earlier, so I just wanted you to take a look at this. This is basically going towards my calf, so it's pretty far deep. Now, over here on this wall, I'm going to try to kind of maneuver myself here. You can see how high the water was earlier. Now, I'm only five feet tall, so this probably was about um, just to my thigh. So it was very, very high earlier. Definitely shows why these cars are getting stuck in the mud here. Now, I did speak with someone from the tow truck company that came out quality towing. He actually pulled out two cars earlier, took them away, came back. He's on scene again. You can see that right at the corner there to pull out more vehicles from this area. And we also had about three cars that were just driving out of the area themselves that got stuck in the mud in there, but they were able to kind of get out themselves. Um, and then we also had that accident that occurred earlier. Now, luckily, the accident did clear from what I'm told. We did have one person transported to the hospital by paramedics. Looks like that person just had minor injuries. I was able to talk to uh, his mother on scene. She said that he was okay. So that was all cleared up. As far as the closure in effect here, I'm not quite sure how long that's going to last, but you can see that there's a lot of debris in the roadway. It is extremely muddy here. This area, again, quick moving water. We do have an indication of how deep the mud is here by that subject to flooding sign. You can see it's pretty much halfway buried, which these signs are normally a lot higher than that. So you can just imagine how much mud is just in that area. And then again, just very, very tough roads here. So if you see a road closure sign in the area, please abide by them. We do have people that are ignoring the signs and that they're continuing their drive, and that's when they're getting stuck in the mud, and the tow truck has to come and get them out of here. So if you see 
a flooded sign. Please avoid the area. Um, also, I did have um, a message from CHP Robert Rodriguez, who did also mention that southbound 166 is closed off between New Cuyama and the 101. That's also for flooding. He did say that's a major coastal route. So in case that's where you're headed today, just a heads up for that as well. But we're going to be here all morning long on Wheeler Ridge and David Road, keeping you updated on the flooding and the status of um, the conditions out here and how long this will be closed off. Right now, though, back to you guys. All right, thank you very much, Kalina, doing a great job out there for us this morning. Unbelievable how sloppy it is in certain areas just outside right. Bakersfield in our mountain community. Send us photos if you do have pictures to our Facebook page at Eyewitness News Bakersfield. Now we'd love to see what it's like where you are this morning. Thank you, Kalina.